Hello there and welcome to this channel. In this video, I show you how to set up a complete Node.js web server for production. Plus, I will share you tips and best practices for a secure and modular application or project with separation of concern in mind, which is very important for every project or application. Create a folder and open with Visual Studio Code. First thing first, it is very important to create a Git repository for every project. Go to Terminal, New Terminal. Type git init. Create a file dot git ignore. Inside the git ignore file, add the files and folders that you want to exclude from your repository. The first one is, for example, the node modules. And then it is best practice to create a folder called ignored and put all the files that you don't want to include in the repository inside this folder. Then package log.json, then the build folder, next.txt. You can use that next.txt file to plan your project. For example, you can write all your next plans or next steps in this file. Then type in the terminal npm init npm init makes the project a node.js project you can rename the package name if you want for example node.js server then the version 1.0.1 description just a basic Node.js web server. The entry point I like uh, to name it server.js. No command for now, there is no git repository. Keywords author, for example, my company name. In my case, my company name. In your case, your company name. The license, you can give it any license if you want. For now, I just give it MIT, for example. MIT license and ISC license is almost the same. Both are open source license. Anyone has the full right to use, sell, and do whatever he or she wants with your project. Proper licensing is very important. For now, exit. Now we have package.json. So in the scripts, add also a start command. Node server.js. And another one, for example, div. And for this one, we use like nodeman server.js. And you can also modify the package.json here as well. Save it. I personally don't like the integrated terminal. So I open the terminal directly inside the folder. Use the shift and right click. Open PowerShell window here. We need some dependencies. So npm install express dash dash save then npm install nodeman hyphen d for development enter now here we have under dependencies express and div dependencies uh, nodeman package log.json and node modules or grayed out because they are included inside get ignore file create the server.js file you can name it whatever you want 
in my case it is uh, server.js const express require express const app express const port let us give it uh, 4004 app dot listen now the callback function if there is any error so we have to lock the error console dot lock on the server did not start and we have to return from this point otherwise we console log uh, the server is running on http concatenating with the port number So here app dot get request response response dot send hello world so npm run diff the server is uh, running on http this remove this space so that we can copy the link so this one is much better than this one you can just copy this ctrl c jump to your browser and ctrl v now here you see hello world so when you are in the home page now it just uh, sends a text uh, hello world so it means that the server works perfectly now about the separation of concern you have to keep your back end your front end and your data separated it is good for your project it is good for yourself and it is good for the security so create here a folder you can name it whatever you want but i would like to name it like API for the backend. Create another folder for the client or for the user interface. You can name it client, you can name it public, you can name it uh, front end, whatever you want. And then create another folder for the data. Inside the client, create here just uh, for now index.html. change the title to welcome and here just an h1 this is my very cool website thanks for visiting our site another one like h3 it really helps us if you like the video thanks a lot some people also name the client folder a static folder because it is the static files like uh, your html css javascript pictures images and etc you can also add here another file like style.com CSS and then link uh, the style to your HTML using link element and then style.css. Create here also another file app.js and link it in your HTML as well. Scrape it and the sources SRC 
app.js to test this alert welcome to our website to test the css body uh, font size 16 pixels background this background color black found family verdona tohma arial letter spacing one pixels line height 25 pixels here you can use express middleware to serve your static contents app dot use first the path url and then express dot static for this we also need to import the path library corners path require path and here we can use path dot join dire name and we can use for example the client because in my case it is the client folder so if i refresh you see now it is the html also all alerts will come to our website if i close you see it is a very huge text this is my very cool website thanks for visiting our site it really help us if you like the video thanks a lot for h1 we set the color to be blue So our JavaScript workers, we don't need in this alert anymore. Comment it out, save it, because every time we refresh the page, uh, it pops up. Uh, welcome to our website. Now you see, thanks to Nodemon, it automatically reloads the server. So now we don't need this here. Use the server.js file. To handle the very basic stuff for your server create a file for the contact forum to handle all the requests related to the contact forum api to make the api work we have to import it here conest api require path dot join then app dot use when you are on the api path then use the api for example we can add a home path so only slash and slash home is the same it is the home page then we can add here contact page contact we have to create here another file contact.html contact page link style.css scraped src hubgs contact wrapper input type text name is name email input type email 
name, email, message. And this one is not input but text area. Name message, ID message, column 50, row 10. Let us see how it looks like. So, when you are on the contacted path, return this HTML file from this directory contacted.html. function handle contact at forum request response for now response dot send contact at forum module dot exporters Okay, rename the API to this API. For unexisted URLs, we send a 404 page that not found. New file 404.html. Not found. So H1, the page you're looking for does not exist, back to home, 404.html. Comment this out for a moment to test the new changes. Now it is working. Refresh. Very nice. Let us add some links in the index.html. Contact and home. Save it. Home. Now we can go to the contacted page. Very nice. The point of the video is not to create a very attractive, beautiful website. The point of the video is to set up a basic sample web server as an example so that you can extend the web server and build on that using uh, the previous existing components. For example, we have now two pages. You can add uh, more pages like about pages, services pages, jobs pages, uh, and etc. And now, if we go to, for example, we don't have about page for now. So, when, when a page does not exist, we want to return the not found page. The page you are looking for does not exist. Uh, back to home. Now, this web server works perfectly for handling the static contents. Let us work on the backend to handle the API requests or to create APIs for this web server. You should have two database files, one test database and one production database. Call it db.sqlite another one test db dot is q light there is an extension for sql light go to the extension and then type here sq light 
install it very nice right click on test db sql light new query create table if not exist now the name of the table contact forum then the id the data type integer primary key and then the name the type is text and not null the other column is email that is it is type is also text and also not null and has to be unique the other one is message type is text and also not null and the created date created date just text and not null this is if not exists so create table if not exists the table name the first column which is the id the primary key and then the second column is the name email and then the message and of course created date it is best practice that you add the created date and modified date in every table so in this case it is not necessary to add modified date if you let the user to modify the data then you also should add modified date it is best practice and it is very useful so now again right click and then run query okay it was successful we can save this file inside the data like let us name it uh, commands save select all control c right click on db.sqlite new query control v and then run query very nice to check if the table is created or not you can use this command select it store from sqlite master where type is table so only select this one right click and then run selected query here you see type table the name of the table is contact forum and the table name is contact forum so the table is created we have the database and we have the table you have to bring the path also here bring the path require path db path so path dot join tire name so from here we should go back so zero zero going back we are now out of uh, this directory now we are in the main directory and then use the data folder db.sqlite this is the path for the database because the incoming data is json we have to use another middleware app.use express.json app.use express dot url encode it extend it true save it create a new file index dot gs create also another file for routers 
routers.js express require express router express dot router module dot exporters router inside of this require routers.js module.exporters routers this is the index this is done and this file is for managing all the api routers so router dot post so path contact let us rename this uh, to something that makes sense contact form handler now here we have post message we can add uh, another method for example get messages like uh, getting all the messages uh, get message by id for example and this way you can bring uh, related methods in one object and handle them easily let us change this to post your message this is just for test get all your messages get message by id router dot get for the same path contact then use here colon and then for example id contact forum handler for example require contact forum handler dot gs so contact forum handler dot the post message for this one contact forum handler dot get messages and for this one contact forum handler dot get message by id this one is slash column id now save it let us check our api routers we can use a pure javascript at this app.js let us do it inside the contact form let us create uh, some button Test post route test and get all route test and get uh, by ID route ID post ID get all id get one now we have to bring those three buttons here honest post button post ptn document dot get element by id and this id post 
control C control V this one is for get all get all button get one button so post dot on click we run here an anonymous function and this function send us a request a fetch request fetch to where slash api so here we say api and then inside the routers contact api contact and of course here we have to provide some data like the method is post and the body is for now json dot stringify sample object test message so json dot stringify sample object and then inside the headers content type application json and then we use and then this is the response response of the json and then again then here is uh, let's say the pure data and then console dot lock that data and if there is any error the error console.log you also have console.error but uh, it shows us a real error and it uh, does not look uh, very nice the error uh, from post uh, request so save it and let us test it refresh the page and go to the contact page open the console and see what we get so it says in the error from post request unexpected token p post your message is not a valid json so post your message is the message from this object post your message because it is not a valid json we got an error we can make it a valid json like uh, this and then let us say message and paste so save it refresh it and then again okay it was not uh, refreshed uh, sometimes if it does not work come on your terminal and then click a few times it will uh, re refresh or reload uh, the server so this time we get the message very nice post your message we can do the same with this control acres message in this 
control acres message in this so this is how you create apis in node.js now we can test uh, the other one this was for the post we can change in this uh, to get all we use just the uh, get it is very simple the request method is automatically get so you don't have to manually specify that get all your messages let us change that to get one and this time we have to actually also provide an id because it, it expected an id it is say one refresh it get message point id perfect now as you see it is very simple and easy to set up a node.js web server now this is a full stack web application now here we have to add a button bring this br for uh, breaking the line change this to submit change in this to post button we don't need this to anymore and also this one is not necessary and again the method because it is post body json dot stringify let us rename this to message headers content type application json here we have to get the content of the name and the email and the message So it is the name element document dot query selector. So this is the input input name his name control C control B the email element the name is email the message element is not input it is text area text area name message this way you can use query selector to get html element using it is attribute message dot name is name element dot value control c control v message dot email email element dot value and message dot message is message element dot value so here we automatically assign new key value pairs to this object and then we send this to the server we should see also how it looks like console.log message and here we get that from request.body request content request of the body console dot log request content let us uh, check it out for example name of Janus. email 
Akianus at akianus.com Thanks for liking the video and then submit. Let us see what we get. Okay, post your message. We have to also give here another text. Our message before sending to the server and let us see here here we also get uh, the correct data name is Akionus, email is this one messages this one and this uh, object is uh, from this file i am showing this stuff because it should be clear for everyone so this is the back end and this one is the front end save it now our api works perfectly we get uh, the user input and now it is the time that we insert the user input to the database and we need to install also the sqlite uh, driver npm i sqlite 3 Honest SQLite 3 require SQLite 3 dot variables Connors DB new SQLite 3 dot the database and the DB path and then you can also specify what you want to open it for would you like to open it for read and write only for read and etc open read and write in case if there is any error if error console dot log error happened at opening the db connection and of course also the error itself else console.log connected successfully connected to db successfully So in case of the error, we have to also let the user know that there happened some error. So response dot send MSG error. We just say something went wrong. Please try again. Conest. Here we create a query string query string is insert into contacted forum table the name of the columns so we had name then email then message and then created date question mark for name question mark for email question mark for message and question mark for created date db dot run query string and now the data exactly according to this question markers because this is an array so the index has to match the position of the table column so for the first one body dot name and then body dot email 
and then body dot message and from the user interface we also add the created date as well so by default we add here created date new date so save it and also body the, the created date and the handler in case there will happen any error if error we do the same thing so control c error happened at uh, adding uh, data to the database and then for the user we just say something went wrong please try again ls no error we say thank you for uh, your message we will reply as soon as possible so this is msg success so db in the close to close that database connection so before all this happens it has to wait for the body for the request body to arrive so wait wait until you have the body and then process the next lines so here in the data we have to check if we have a success message or error message in both cases we have to display the message to the user here we create a paragraph element by default it is empty it is calling just the feedback msg you can call it whatever you want so this is id control c control v feedback element by id feedback msg because it is one message we should call it just a message Control C, Control V, Control V. So feedback element dot inner HTML we set to data dot message. And if there is any error, Control C, Control V. And instead of that we just say ourselves uh, that the something went wrong let's try again control c control v so now let us try it out very nice refresh it Elon Musk so Elon dot Musk at uh, Akianus.com for example he works at uh, my company hi there I would like to make a website for my SpaceX project when are you available to have a meeting about it thank you best regards Elon Musk 
send so this is the message before sending and uh, something went wrong let's try again this was uh, from there let us see this error so error happened at adding data to the database and then the error is no such table contracted forum there is no such table contracted forum so um, this is okay elon musk elon musk hi there we got the message we got uh, the date and time correctly so new query select everything from contact form right click run query this uh, does not exist contact from you made a mistake at the, in the name of the table so select all control c control v make it contact forum and then run the selected query close it select everything from contact forum and then run the selected query so now we got no error it is okay let us try again now this time it was okay connected to database successfully very nice let us see the database uh, manually new query select everything from contact forum and then run query very nice id is one the name is elon musk the email is elon musk at achianus.com and the message is this one and the created date is today save it close it it is we don't need this anymore we don't need this anymore now this is a perfect and working full stack web application in node.js let me tell you some best practices and some tips you can use uh, third-party libraries uh, to change the settings between uh, development environment and production environment but uh, i personally don't like that because you depend your project to another third-party library it is very simple and easy to do for example for your database you can just add uh, one extra variable here Control c Control v call it uh, database path and database path div for the div we use uh, test db and then when you are testing just uh, change in this one from uh, db path to db path div and when you want to build or uh, use this in the production then just change uh, the name of the variable it is uh, not so much work and the same thing for the porters and etc for example here you can have two different porters port and port div for example 5004 and then here use uh, port div for the development and then just change this variable to only port when you want to use it in the production for only switching between a few variables it is not really necessary to use third party libraries now it is 5004 so this is called separation of concern your backend or your apis 
or separated your client or static files for the user interface is separated and your data is separated that's it guys i hope it was clear i hope it was helpful if anything was not clear write in the comment and i answer as soon as possible thanks for watching liking commenting sharing and being around have great times